lessons from the rise of Halaki Jack. People who succeed have momentum. The more they succeed, the more they want to succeed. And the more they find a way to succeed. Similarly, when someone is failing, the tendency is to get on a downward spiral that can even become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Tony Robbins Success is a story to be told just like every birthday. Prior to this, the story of the richest black man in the world is not just a motivation to every girl child but also to all and sundry. My voice dances with joy as an athlete voice about a courageous woman who rose to success without a university degree. Folorusho Alakija is an household name not just in Nigeria but the world at large. The Ikorudu Bon Moglet started her career as a bank secretary and typist. The Syria entrepreneur in an Instagram post said, My desire was to study law but my daddy did not believe in investing in girls at that time. Today, I have no university degree, but God's glory lifted me up and I have received numerous honorary doctorate degree at home and abroad. As the eighth child of the 52 children, she finds her way to be a world millionaire with consistency and resilience. The billionaire later went into the fashion business called Supreme Stitches, which was later named Rose of Sharon House of Fashion. Folorusho was born on the 15th of July, 1951, to the family of Chief L.A. Ogbara in Ikorudu, Lagos State. She had a basic education at Our Lady of Apostu, Lagos, Nigeria from year 1955 through 1958. At the tender age of seven, she traveled to the United Kingdom to continue her basic studies at the Nobel School for Girls in Afrodunos Hall in Lengandry, Wales between the years of 1959 through 1963. On the accomplishment of her basic studies, she attended Muslim High School in Shagamu, Ogo State, Nigeria. She later returned to England to study secretarial studies at Pittman Central College, London. Alakija applied for the allocation of an oil prospecting license (OPL) in 1993. The license for exploration of oil on a 617,000 acres block currently referred to as OPL 216, was granted to Fanfar Limited Alakija Establishment. The block, 350 kilometers down to the southeast region of Lagos, Nigeria, and 110 kilometers offshore of Nigeria in the Agbami feed part of the central Niger region of Nigeria. In September 1996, she put pen on paper by signing a partnership deal with Star Deep Water Petroleum Limited, a fully subsidiary own of May of Texaco, and appointed the company as the technical assistant for the exploration of the license, transferring 40% of her 100% stake to Star Deep. Little wonder all exploration started. The Nigerian government reportedly snatched a 50% stake. For over a decade, she fought the government through her way in court. The Nigerian government argued that if Alakija and family were allowed to retain their block, they stood to be making a whooping sum of money, estimated to be a figure of $10 million daily. Still, she never gave up and gallantly won the case at the end. The billionaire Moglet further emphasized on the need not to give up when facing challenges in life. This she retreated in her Instagram post, which read, I have had to make sacrifices like everyone else, faced challenges but never given up. Also, in an interview with the Vanguard newspaper on the 24th of March 2016, 
she was quoted saying do not accept no for an answer many doors were shot in my face but i refused to give up and kept going back and it paid off see where i am today be determined to succeed as there is always a way where there seems to be no way all in the persistent and the diligent find it i belong to the school of thought that success evolves with time just like the day give way at sunset to the silent night alaki just shed more light on the timeliness of success quoted saying all of what you see today has taken almost two and a half decades so i'm not an overnight success on the contrary through God's grace, I'm a blood bought totally forgiven, absolutely redeemed, even born child of God. She also shared more light on this in an interview with Vanguard newspaper. She said, Time is money. Use it wisely. Say no to corruption. Find mentors for practical guidance in your choosing career. Find out God's purpose for your life and embark on it. Exercise patience and courage. Courage is fear that has said it prayers. Always remember that anything worth doing at all is worth doing well. Don't sit on the fence, but come to Nigeria's defense, profile solution, and follow through. The bottom line is drawn from Lupita Iyongo's acceptance speech at the 2014 Oscar Award. She said, and I quote, To every African child, your dreams are valid. There is a thin line between success and failure, but we must also bear in mind that success is a gradual process. Pat really said success is a gradual result of always striving to do better. The rise of Alakija says it all. For more updates, subscribe to Fakal TV and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. This is Fakal TV, your most reliable content of my name is Kyle Adeshino. Peace and blessings to all.